afternoon. Thanks to the Saskatoon uh, Chamber of Commerce for hosting this great event. And uh, uh, Mr. Doyle, thank you for your, for your comments. Before I say anything else, it strikes me, ladies and gentlemen, that we have uh, some expatriates coming home and some brand new uh, residents to the city of Saskatoon and the province of Saskatchewan. We should welcome them home and welcome them here. Many of you may know the story of how I first heard about the, uh, the takeover a bit. Uh, we were at home, Tammy and I were planning a rare uh, date night. We were just about to head out the door and I got a call from Mr. Doyle who told me that the next day likely we were to hear this news of the takeover. Needless to say, it uh, wasn't really much of a date night. Uh, and so months later, here we are on Valentine's Day. <laughs> together again with the Potash Corporation. <laughs> so I have a few remarks to make and a letter to present, and now I'm going to drive home to Swift Kirk and have a pledge of my own and I'm going to do it uh, tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, since the day that Potash Corp published its pledge to Saskatchewan in the middle of that debate that we were having across our country uh, and frankly around the world, since that day, Without any prompting, they have been going about the business of keeping that pledge. And we've had the chance to talk to the Potash Corp and had a chance to meet with Bill and Wayne and Garth and others and members of the board. And uh, it was basically a, an opportunity for, for them to share with the government uh, exactly what they were doing. That they were making progress with respect to the seven points of the pledge and they were doing so unprompted. And it ought not to surprise us that they were. I remember one of my earliest meetings with not just Mr. Doyle, but the other, the CEOs of the other two potash corporations in 2009, when potash sales basically collapsed. And by the way, some of the province seem to have forgotten that relatively recent event, but it wasn't that long ago. And I remember it well, Rod Ganifor, the finance minister at the time, remembers it well. But we met with them and they, again unprompted to the government of Saskatchewan said our intention is to go ahead with these expansions. There's some significant things happening in terms of downward pressure and potash right now, but we know the long term is there, the fundamentals are there, we're going to continue to invest billions of dollars and create thousands of construction jobs to create hundreds of permanent jobs in this province and solidify the leadership position that Saskatchewan has in this important industry. And without prompting, they simply have been doing those things and undertaking those expansions and they are on the way today. So it ought not to surprise us then that the Potash Corporation is similarly undertaking the pledge that they made to the people of the province highlighted in the ways that Mr. Noel has given us this afternoon. He touched very briefly on part of the reason why those expansions are happening and it's worth focusing a little bit on and then I'll, and then I, I'll, I'll present a letter back to Mr. Doyle, it's a no. It, part of the reason, a big part for the reason uh, of the reason for these uh, expansions and new investments in the province is the royalty structure we have in the province of Saskatchewan today, negotiated with the companies by the then government, the previous government. I remember in opposition we supported those changes because we understood as the Premier of the day understood and said publicly, sometimes you give a little bit of immediate money back to the Treasury to create jobs and to create lasting employment and a revenue base on into the future. And so the companies, based on those changes, have undertaken these billion dollar decisions. And so I think there's another pledge that's needed today. And it's a pledge from our government to the people of this province, to the men and women who make the Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan happened, the workers of that company and the other potash industries, and frankly, those who are employed in resource industries across our province that are making the Saskatchewan advantage happen today, I think it's important for us to pledge, and we do, that they can expect from this province royalty stability, that they can expect from this province a good, positive business climate, an enterprise-friendly place to make those investments and do business because that's how we're going to continue the momentum in this province that sees us today as the number one economy in the Dominion of Canada. 
So we make that pledge today, mindful of the fact that while we've got 50% of the potash here in old reserves, 50% of it's elsewhere. And if we're not vigilant, and if we're not competitive, companies will make decisions that might impact jobs in this province and the future economic well-being uh, that we prize. The royalty structures that we have, the business climate that you have built, has made us a leader in the country. But it's also meant something else. It's meant revenues for the Treasury. Revenues such that in just a few weeks we will table the budget, maybe the only budget in the world that will have as its underpinning a further reduction in debt, reduced taxes, and important investments in infrastructure. We'll be able to do that not because the government is all that, but because of the economy that is being built here, because of the fundamentals that are in place. And a big part of that is owed to our largest corporate citizen, one that we promise and one that we welcome, the Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan. Potash Corp. So I have a, a letter for you as well. We'll ask you to come back uh, uh, to the front here if we can. And uh, thank you for letting me say a few words here this afternoon.